What's up everyone, Luis Perez here. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make Chicago Cracker Thin Pizza with pickled peppers and a Calabrian chili sausage. I'm gonna start with making the pickled pepper. I typically use hot Hungarian wax peppers, but you can use chilies, you can use jalapenos, whatever pepper you'd like. So the first thing we're pouring in is going to be our white vinegar. Basically dump all your dry ingredients right into the vinegar. So once you get your dry ingredients incorporated with the vinegar, we're gonna bring it to a light boil, not a rolling boil. And then once you have that light boil, turn it off. We're gonna pour that hot brine over our peppers and let that steep for a 24 hour minimum. Next, I'm gonna make the chili honey sausage. So we've got our ground pork here. I'm gonna put that in the bowl. And then we've got our dried spices, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, fennel seed, oregano, garlic, chilies, shallot, salt, bit of honey, dry white wine. And now we're just gonna incorporate all those different herb spices together. Get those hands dirty, my friends. All right, so we're nice and incorporated in there. Hands are dirty. Be sure to wash your hands after combining all of these. From here, we're gonna cook the sausage using a cast iron pan. We're gonna get this thing nice and hot and cook it all in the Gosney dome. All right, so we got a nice, hot, steamy cast iron pan. We're at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so hot from being heated up in the dome that the pan's hot enough to cook the pork. Now, I don't want to fully cook the pork entirely. We don't want to, we don't want to cook the life out of it. We're going to essentially cook it to a medium and then it'll be finished cooking the second time around during the pizza baking process. I like the way that looks. And from there, we're gonna let that cool and then utilize it on our pizza. Now I'm gonna show you how to open the dough. This dough is a very low hydration. For the dough recipe, click the link above my shoulder. All right, to open the dough, we are degassing it entirely, pressing all that air out. We want it nice and paper thin. This style pizza, it's very, very thin, topped with sauce traditionally and cheese all the way to the perimeter of the crust. We are gonna be par baking this dough, allowing it to rest and cool down. And then from there, we'll be able to top it and bake it. Using a rolling pin, we're gonna roll this out, trying to get it as thin as possible. Nice uniform crust all the way around. I'm using a pizza cutter. I'm going to get a nice flush finished edge all the way around. So we're just cutting a bit of that dough off. They call me the pizza surgeon, pizza doctor. I'm gonna be using this dough docker here and we're gonna run it all the way through. And if you don't have one of these, you can use these and you go crazy with it, poking holes throughout. And this is again, be a preventative measure from this dough swallowing up when you par bake it. We're gonna get this thing right on the peel, nice and easy. So you wanna get that right side of the deck it's about 625 to 650 somewhere in that window we're going to launch it in again it's going to be par cooked on a low flame and what we're looking for we don't want to fully cook this we just want to par cook it so once you start to see some caramelization on the top getting a little bit of color on the bottom some spotting underneath that's really all we're looking for because again we got to bake it a complete second round so for this one, I'm going to say she's ready. Voila, nice park cooked cracker thin. All right, so now we're gonna be topping this beautiful cracker thin that is just cooked to perfection, not overcooked. We got some spotting underneath, a little bit of caramelization. We are gonna be going sauce down first. So I've got some crushed tomatoes here because who doesn't love a nice crushed tomato? And we're going right to that edge. Don't be shy, folks, right to that edge. All right, so we've got our sauce almost there. 
So we're all the way to the edge. Little bit of a lip, but once you put that cheese on there, we're using aged mozzarella. Amazing, isn't it? All right, so we've got our aged mozzarella distributed throughout. So basically, this is just gonna be cooked with sauce, aged mozzarella, and the sausage. We're gonna sprinkle that sausage throughout. Deck temp for the final bake. About 675 deck temp. So we're gonna just toss this guy right on the right side of the oven. Again, cooking on a low flame. We are getting pretty close here. I just want to get a little bit more caramelized on top. So we've got a nice cracker thin pizza. You can hear it cracking a bit as I pick it up. It's got some spotting underneath, some char along the edge. I don't like to load it up with cheese. I like seeing some color, red, white, nice little balance. And from here, we're not cutting into triangles. We're cutting into squares. Square cut, nice crunch. All right, so we got nice squares on there. We're gonna go with a little bit of oregano, some fresh basil, ground, pecorino, romano. Last but not least, we've got our pickled peppers that have been steeping for about 24 hours. And then the last thing, a little bit of olive oil. And voila, cracker thin. For the recipe, go to gazni.com. Don't subscribe. Don't do that. I think my first bite is going to be this little guy here. Always go for the little corner first. That's pretty good. I'd buy that pizza. How about you, Alex? Oh, you don't have to buy it. You can just have a slice. I'm gonna have to bake a bit. Well. That's insane. Good? So good. When? My job's done. Get those hands dirty, my friends. Sounds a bit perverted, doesn't it? No? Maybe a little bit. A little bit? It's fine.